What's up guys? This is Derek from MorePlateToMoreDates.com. Today we're going to be talking about the top three clubbing fragrances of 2017. And this list is going to be based upon which ones pulled in the most compliments for me um, throughout uh, most of 2015 and a lot of 2016. I worked as a bouncer downtown, so I kind of field tested a lot of my fragrances to really see what performed well in that kind of environment. So I have a good idea of what uh, excels in the club scenario. So I'm going to have a couple honorable mentions first. So first one being, uh, first honorable mention, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP version. So this is in the honorable mention simply because this scent is fantastic and it's a bona fide panty dropper fragrance, so to speak. It's uh, performance is no by no means a heavy hitter in the club, but... If you apply enough of it, when women get close to you, they can smell it in the club fairly well, and compliments roll in when that happens. So, you know, like I initially thought this was just a close encounter date kind of fragrance, and that's what I reserved it for, but I noticed if you applied enough of it, or you have very good skin chemistry, this can be great in the club as well, and it worked very well. I had to apply a lot, though, because I have really dry skin, and maybe that might not be ideal for you. Um, in order for it to perform well for me, I typically had to work my way through three quarters of a 10 milliliter atomizer throughout the entire night. So that's like over a span of six hours, I'd use three quarters of a 10 mil atomizer. Um, that's quite a bit of fluid to work through, but it did work well when I used that much. So this fragrance is simply the EDP concentration version of the EDT version of the one and the scent is pretty much identical honestly they maintained its integrity and they didn't butcher it which is good because a lot of times edps end up vastly different than the edts and obviously that would have been a disaster with the one because of its fragrance dna being so spectacular so you know this one is pretty safe though if you were to only buy one like panty dropper fragrance that would universally please the noses of all women out there this would be the one to go for for sure as far as its applicability in like the club scenario if you apply enough of it it can do very well and if you have a good good skin chemistry for fragrances it can be a game changer for you in the club so regardless i think it's a must have though um next honorable mention is victor and rolf spice bomb this one is one of my favorites, especially for uh, the fall and winter. I bought this uh, scent at the beginning of last fall because I wanted to try something spicier for the fall and winter months. And after I got it, I noticed an enormous amount of compliments from it. Um, the performance is great. It's not beast mode, but it's very good. It doesn't require over application to project adequately. And it lasts for a long time. Like you'll smell your sweaters that you sprayed like a week ago and you'll still smell the scent on it. Um, and I find this fragrance coincides exceptionally well with uh, like the tastes of women in the fall and winter months when they're getting like pumpkin spice lattes and like you know like the spice body lotions and whatnot. Like this is kind of like the epitome of sexy masculine fall winter smells spices kind of thing. And the name of it's really fitting. Um, it can be a bit weak in the club environment. But it'll, it'll still work for you if you have good skin chemistry or you apply enough of it. Uh, and once women get a whiff of it, the compliments come rolling in, just like with the one. Um, this is one of my go-tos for fall and winter months, not necessarily for the club, but I have tried it and it does work pretty well in the club if you do what I said. Um, number three is uh, Armani Code Profumo. So this one smells just like delicious. It has some of the same DNA as the original Armani Code, but it's been amped up like hugely in the performance category in contrast to the original Code. Um, the most prominent notes are cardamom, lavender, lavender, nutmeg, tonka bean, amber, and leather. And it's really fantastic clubbing fragrance. It can cut through like the hordes of other dudes fragrances in the club really well and brings in hordes of compliments it's uh sexy sophisticated and it definitely has a few qualities that differentiate differentiate it in a big way from uh the original armani code because that one was kind of like a fresh out of the shower type uh fragrance where profumo 
is absolutely not subtle and it falls right into the beast mode category for performance and you can tell it's more of like a night sexy seductive smell you can expect like 10 plus hours of high performance wear out of it and it's really strong um, it definitely deserves a spot as the number three on this list going to number two this one is an absolute killer in the club this is versace eros um, it smells uh, fresh, woody, kind of like oriental. The main notes are mint, green apple, tonka bean, and brox and vanilla and geranium. And it's a very potent smelling and it projects very well. So it cuts through the crowd really nicely. It's very sexy. Women love it. And it kind of like oozes of just like one night stand alpha male, if that makes sense. And this was my go-to. This was honestly my go-to for clubbing for more or less four years probably this was my number one and it served me really well i've probably gone through like five six bottles of this thing can't recommend it enough that thing is going to be as far as the club scenario i think that's kind of a timeless scent it doesn't have a lot of versatility other in other scenarios but in the club it's fantastic uh going on to number one this one is jean paul gaultier ultra mel or ultra male. I don't know how you say it, but anyway, this one I just got relatively recently and this fragrance is definitely a killer panty dropper for clubbing and offers more versatility in the fall and winter months as well for scenarios outside of the club. Um, there's kind of like some citrus notes in the opening with the dry down resulting in some like very obvious black vanilla, amber, cedar, and patchouli. Uh, the fragrance, like I said, is absolutely a panty dropper, and I find this one fairly versatile as long as you don't wear it when it's, like, blistering hot out. So, you know, like, this one has women going nuts. The projection and longevity are phenomenal. The scent is sweet, very sweet and masculine, and it's, like, a beast in all facets of what you'd want in a club scent. It smells kind of, it's almost, like, edible smelling, kind of like Armani Code Profumo, but this one has easily become my favorite clubbing fragrance in the past year and it definitely i don't know if i'm just bored of eros or it i honestly it, it gets a lot more compliments than eros in my opinion although eros still pulls in a ton it's just like this one is uh i don't know it's kind of hard to explain they're a bit different they're both sweet but this one i feel like is more age group friendly whereas eros is more for young guys only in my opinion um it's not like older guys can't wear it but i feel like ultra mal is kind of like a one size fits all like turnkey clubbing fragrance that everyone can wear and everyone can just like pull off great uh it's sweet very sexy fun and when you combine like extremely sexy fun and beast mode performance you have like the perfect storm for a killer like a killer clubbing like seduction fragrance and when it lingers in the air in the club it cuts through the crowd awesome and women don't need to be within like an inch of you to smell it like most other fragrances and honestly any of these three or any of them in this list honestly is going to have your sex appeal cranked up through the roof a lot more like whatever kind of attraction level you would gain from smelling good you're going to be maxed out in regards to any of these fragrances and not only that they provide women an opportunity to strike strike up a conversation with you that they might have not had otherwise like women are pretty timid when it comes to opening guys and when you smell great and they can tell and they can you know like smell you because you're not wearing something too weak it actually gives them an opportunity to like run over to you in the club and tell you how great and sexy you smell and then start up a conversation like that. And I definitely recommend having a solid clubbing fragrance that can cut through the hordes of other dudes wearing one million or whatever else guys are spamming nowadays. So anyway, that's the top three list right there with some honorable mentions. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like, subscribe, comment, check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Subscribe there. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.